So Larkin with Toads came about because the 25th anniversary of the death of Philip Larkin was in 2010. So members of the Larkin, the Larkin Society and other interested Larkinites uh, decided they wanted to do something really special to commemorate this pretty important poet. Um, so there's a big programme of literary events and all sorts of music and various other um, programme of events. And within that they wanted a landmark arts programme. And because Larkin had uh, used the motif of toads in a few of his poems, there was this idea to uh, have these enormous great big toads that would be decorated beautifully and scattered all around the place. So I was asked to come on board, develop the whole toads project and make it into something big and spectacular. The whole point of the toads was that it was to be crazy, fun, friendly and really spectacular and I guess because I've worked in the arts for so long I was fairly confident that this would be fantastic and amazing because I know that the arts can really engage people and really get people excited and inspired. What was amazing even to those of us who have you know who expected this was just how they really capture the hearts of everybody around here and you know during those three months in the summer of 2010 wherever you went in Hull there were people with their maps their toad maps going around with their cameras in great big bunches of families or in couples or even on their own and just checking out every single toad and trying to enjoy them all and capture them all and take a photograph with them and we had um, amazing an amazing response from the public what we know is that uh, over 120,000 people came and enjoyed the toads and we know that many of those were local people but many more actually were visitors to the city who came in they flocked from everywhere not just from the UK but also from abroad which is it was just amazing and they came along and they came to have another look at Larkin and have another look at Hull and and while they were there we know that people spent money on you know lunches and going around other parts of the city so incredibly the Larkin 25, the Toads project, brought in over a million pounds in extra revenue to, to Hull, which is astounding. I think a number of people struggled to get their heads around what this would be like. It was hard to understand for some people what this project was about. And many people thought that something like this was just crazy and it just wouldn't work. So the media, yeah, had a bit of a bash at it. There were lots of, um, you know, negative press stories before the toads ever arrived. But what was really amazing was that within three days, they, they were put out on a Thursday night, they arrived on Friday morning, and by Monday morning, everybody was in love with the toads and it just well, it just took off from there became huge what was interesting in the run up to the toads was that whilst the the media stories were rolling around and some people were very skeptical about what it could bring the other side of that was there were a number of very very astute local businesses who really got it and they got it from the off and they understood that you have to be brave you have to be ambitious and you have to really get out there and do something spectacular and they understood the toads was exactly that so they got right behind it and they sponsored the Toads. I think by the end of the project, after it had been such a success, there were many, many businesses who were really regretting that they hadn't uh, got on board sooner and maybe hadn't quite uh, understood how fantastic it was going to be. passionate believer that the arts are an amazing catalyst. I've seen the arts reach unreachable uh, people, reach uh, supposedly unchangeable circumstances and literally bring about amazing stuff. I think we all witnessed that with Toads. There was something amazingly special about it. It's the arts. The arts are an amazing and phenomenally effective way to reach people and make incredible things happen. Swerving East is the follow-on project to Toads. Uh, myself, Claire Huby, was the Toads manager. I was involved in developing Toads and Emma Cheshire have come together to form a new company and develop a new idea which builds on the fantastic project that Toads was but takes it even further. Um, we will again have sculptures, we will also have this time have events, we'll have a whole bigger, better layer of activities and um, amazing things to see and do in East Riding to a, in Holland East Riding to attract 
uh, we hope many, many um, locals and visitors alike. It's a really ambitious project, it's big, it's huge, and we are looking again to develop even stronger links with the business community. So what we want are businesses to come on board with us, to be involved in collaborating with us on this creative project from the very earliest stages, and that we do this together. It's about cultural tourism, it's about community, it's about fun, it's about art, it's about strengthening the the um, infrastructure of the arts and creativity in the area and it's about bringing money in to this part of the world. It's really exciting and we are really keen to work with as many businesses as possible and as many partners as possible.